Today we will be reviewing 9 bot Max G30LP. Let's get the basic specs out of the way for our Segway 9 box Max G30LP. Well, let's talk about the pros. Extremely solid build quality, great power management, super braking distance, and very capable top speed, adequate max range, super bright head and tail lights. And if we talk about the cons, regenerative brakes are mostly a useless sailing point, charging port flaps stays closed during maybe 1 out of every 10 rides, and acceleration rate could be a tiny bit snappier. The smaller profile compared to other models might be a little cramped for larger rides. A little more expensive than competitors or competing scooters with similar specs. It has three speed modes, daytime viewable LED status, indicator ultra bright headlight, red tail light with brake flashing, smart battery management system, regenerative brakes, IPX5 rating for water resistant, all metal body construction, company and mobile app with ride and stay taking. Well, firmware upgrading and quick lock feature, social platform, and many more things making it much more special for a consumer. With a retail price of $699, I find it way too high comparing all other features of another scooter. Well, the Segway 9 Bot Max G30 LP is comparable to other scooters with similar specs, it's not a little more expensive. There is slightly older model of 9 but miles that is usually $100 more but it has a greater rated range of 41 miles. With most reviews tasted it at around 25, putting it at supposed rated range of its successor. I have found I can get between 12 and 14 miles out of the G30 LP on a full charge. Depending on severity of incline and route, and that's using the highest speed mode. There are drawbacks of the older model, however, like a longer braking distance and a more severe power drop off after depleting the battery, but we will get to those soon. I could probably push the max range of the G30 LP to around 15 to 18 total miles using the slower 15 meter per hour limited drive mode. And even further with the 9 meter per hour limited eco mode, I don't really need to travel that many miles in one day though. So I have been keeping the scooter on the sport mode which tops off at around 20 meter per hour. It can go faster with a simple firmware hack, but I'm more than happy with its stop speed out of the box and still feel a thrill when riding it over a smooth road or bumpy dirt path like. Larger riders might feel a little squished onto the smaller deck while holding the shorter handlebars when looking at the scooters, but my average height and build fits nicely onto the G30 LP. I have put over 250 miles of riding into this scooter since I got it over 6 weeks ago now and every one of them has been full bore hard riding. Ash flat, gravel, dirt or grass, this scooter will handle it all of them. I have driven it in light and moderate rain and dried it off after arriving at my destination with no ill effects thanks to the IPX5 water resistant rating. Well, the all metal body and solid construction of 9 Bot Max G30 LP really impressed me. This thing looks and feels like a quality product and it absolutely holds up. Even after all the rough rides I have taken, when compared to the scooters used by Lime, then I see around town, they look like a toy next to the G30 LP. Getting back to the battery and power delivery. I have found when operating the new 9W Max G30 LP between 100% and 65% battery capacity, it delivers the full power of the battery. At around 65% of less battery remaining, the top speed will drop by only 1 to 2 meter per hour and remain the way until the battery is on its last bit of charge. 
the older model will drop its top speed by 25% or more once you get to 65 to 75% point on its battery from reports I have read and reviews I have watched and that does not sound ideal. The 79 Max G30 LP also has the best braking distance in its class out of performing comparable models from other manufacturers and the previous 9 Max Max alike. It can stop within 11 feet at full speed with other scooters coming in at the 13 to 18 foot range. The large pneumatic tires provide a more solid and stable ride than the smaller wheels on rental scooters models, but the lack of actual shocks means the larger bumps, cracks and pars holes will shake you if you are not braced for them. The G30 LP also allows for adjustable regenerative braking to supposedly help recharge the battery on long trips unless you are coasting downhill the entire way. This feature is literally useless and even at its most useless, useful it would only provide minimal charge back to your battery. Overall, I am extremely satisfied with the Segway 9 bot Max G30 LP after really putting it through its paces. There are only two small complaints I have with this scooter. Those being the filmsy charging port cover and lackluster acceleration rate, but it don't detract from the product too much. Thankfully, it still feels like a fun and thrilling ride after more than a month of daily commutes, errands, and joyrides. Because electric vehicles require more care and caution in very cold or hot conditions. It is not a permanent replacement for me. Unfortunately, the winters in my area are typically quite cold and snowy, so my broken expedition will fix eventually for the coming season change. In meantime, though, and when the spring is upon us again, I will enjoy each ride I can take. Well, that's all for my today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.